Excuse me. Have you gone mad? What is it they say? Don't get mad. Get even. Look, I want you to leave. Oh, I bet you do. Rachel, what's going on? The bailiffs have taken our television set away. If we can't have one, then why the hell should he? Oh, for goodness sake. This TV doesn't even belong to Chris. It's home farm property. Nearly bankrupt, and here he is, living in the lap of luxury. Where's the justice in that? Why didn't the bailiffs come up here? Because none of this is his. This is criminal damage, Rachel. Oh, so call the police. My father is in a prison hospital, and I am worried sick about him. I could really do without this. Just go. No. Not until he hears what I've got to say. Couldn't care less. You let me and Joseph take the stick for your financial incompetence. It wasn't my fault. Kim conned me over the stables. You tried to stitch up your own father, the man who you're now trying to sponge off. It's pathetic. You, Tate, you make me sick. You never stop to think about how it affects anyone else, like your own son, for example. I'll make sure everything's OK for Joseph. I'm not going to let you see him. <laughs> you can't do that. I'll take you to court. Fine. I'd love to tell them exactly what you get up to. I have furniture in the attic. Maybe I could lend that to Rachel. You're just bailing Chris out again. But it's not fair that Rachel and Joseph should suffer because of Chris's stupidity. I don't want a repeat of this afternoon. Well, I suppose so. I'm just glad when this whole mess is sorted out. Between you and me, Rachel's really getting on my nerves. Her home's been emptied by the bailiffs. Come on, Steve. Rachel needs support. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. First time it's happened. Sorry, Rachel. I've got to go. Don't bother. You didn't spoil anyway. Don't make a scene. You're just as bad as Chris. What's that supposed to mean? Always let us down. Never live up to your responsibilities. It's all getting a bit boring, Rachel. Is it? Well, how about this? Hmm? 